Okay, I'm not sure if this is going to work. Um, I'm going to try to do a kind of an inking demo. I've never really tried this before, so I don't have a setup for it. Uh, I'll show you exactly why, or you know what the setup would be. It's kind of janky. Uh, bouncing the phone between pencil sharpener, weight, and Narnia books. So let's hope that this works out. I really need to get myself one of those tripods, those bendable ones that people use all the time. They seem to work really well. In any case, uh, I'm, again, never done this. Normally I use technical pens to ink with. Um, this is a sketch I already started out with. Uh, actually, now I think about it, with it being a winter storm outside, I'm just going to make him jumping around in winter snow. Nothing too detailed, again, pencils, whatnot. Uh, scarf sounds fun. See, again, this stuff will come to you later. I, I never really think about what I'm drawing. Unless it's a story, which I need to get back to that sometime. Uh, rockets come along pretty well. But uh, in any case, uh, I probably won't be using the brush on the rocket anytime soon. Uh, mostly because it's, ex it's more expensive, but that's not the big reason. The big reason is I'm not comfortable with a brush just yet. Uh, I kind of got turned on in this by Jersey Drost. And this is actually, I think, the pen he told me about. And I just wanted to go out and try it out. So, but in any case, I'm just going to run through this and hopefully you can see it all right. Uh, shadows are a little weird on the uh, on the video. But uh, I like to start with the nose because that tends to shape the direction of the entire drawing, at least for me. Oh, this is weird. I've never Bob Ross this before. Uh, in any case, the uh, reason I, I really wanted to get into the brush is because... Quite frankly, I see more and more uh, classic artists uh, using a brush and getting a lot better, not so much detail, but a lot of artists are able to get a quite a bit amount of detail smudge already, but they're quite able to get a lot of detail out of, you know, just the variation of form that a brush takes, and it just is really amazing to, to really watch these guys at work. So I figured, why not, I'll, uh, I'll give it a try figure what could hurt. You know, when people like Jeff Smith use a use a brush and and uh oh, of course my mind's gonna go blank as soon as I start meandering. But um let's see, I think pretty sure Bill Lobes uses a, uses a brush too. But in any case I digress. There's just so much good work coming out of people who are using brushes and I'd like to be in that crowd. So I'm gonna, you know, copy what I see. Hopefully not copy, just copy the technique. But as you can see you can obviously get a lot more detail and or not detail but you can get a lot more variation in your line simply by angling your brush and whatnot. And these are this is a Pentel FP10 brush. I think that's what the refills say. Wasn't very expensive. Got it for Christmas. Thank you grandma. Um, refills aren't expensive either. I think they're like two three bucks a for a two pack. So one one capsule will actually last me a couple weeks cuz I've been using this for a good portion of my sketches lately. <clears throat> I'm going to probably debate fast forwarding through all this banter cuz I don't really have anything terribly interesting to say. But in any case, I digress. Back to the drawing. Uh Oh yeah. <laughs> Most of you are like, bro, do you have a Wacom tablet? Why aren't you doing this on the Wacom tablet? And easy question. Uh, I actually, this is going to sound so sad, but I just got my Wacom tablet to work correctly. Uh, for the longest time, it would not act like a brush. It just acted like I was drawing with a brick, except I was using my hand, and my hand was the brick. I wasn't getting the variation of line. Uh, something was wrong with the settings. I know that's what most of you are thinking right now, and it's true. I just didn't know what it was until I literally stumbled upon a video that showed me what I was doing wrong. So it works. Uh, I mostly use it for work because I'm, I'm the kind of resident illustrator where they go to if they need uh, copyrights avoided. And by that I mean, uh, you know, this guy looks like Looney Tune character. We can't print this. Make it look about 10% or 30% different. No problem. That's what I do. I draw. But in any case, 
Thankfully that's not all I'm used for. That would drive me up the wall. Avoid copyrights. Pfft. That would suck. But they rock and they're good. They're good to me. You understand I like to be creative. Uh, in any case, let's see, almost got his bo upper body done there. This is a tough part on This is actually a picture of our dog, Dash. He's a corgi. Um, he's actually loves the snow. He just does this outside and, and mostly because we have our blizzard right now and he can't really do anything outside except for bound around in snow and hope he knows where he's going. So that's fun to see. I'll, I'll have to try to take a picture or a video of it uh, once the wind dies down. Uh, I'm pretty sure the wind would get snow right inside my phone, inside the microphone jack, so I don't really want to chance that. Do that back foot here. I'm kind of playing around with uh, black shading for foreground, background variation. I'm um, having a lot of fun with it. Again, a lot of that was in bone and other black and white pieces. And that's basically the reason I really wanted to do the rocket in black and white, to play around and really explore the possibility of black and white uh, composition. I mean, that's obviously I went to graphic design at Eastern, and that's every, I mean, that's where you start out, it's black and white composition. You don't use any color in Intro to Graphic Design 1 at all. If you do, they smack you. And thank you, Andy, for smacking me. Uh, wait, Andy didn't smack me. Who did? Who was my... Ryan. Ryan will... Yeah, he did. Okay. Thank you, Ryan, for smacking me. Snow's not going to be too detailed. I mean, after all, it's snow. It's white. It's round. It's cold. And it sounds like someone's shoveling outside right now. So this has turned out to be pretty fun. I know why Jersey does it now. In any case, those look like bubbles. That's not good. I gotta think of something, some way to fix that. But in any case, let's put some past footprints back here. Yep, next door neighbor is shoveling. Um, I thought about doing this on Justin TV and streaming it, but again, I was I wasn't sure how I was going to mount the phone and actually stabilize it. So I, I decided just to try to figure out how I would stabilize it and then video record it and update it later. Cause I mean, who knows? My first time I do it, I'll make a mistake. I'll say something bad. I didn't expect myself to, and I hope I don't. If I do, you'll hear a fun sound over top of my swear. But I try not to, cause I know there are other people watch this and possibly some kids watching this. I hope, anyway, that'd be nice. That's my audience. Well, my audience is everybody, but you never know. Oh, speaking of which, I'm hoping to get the uh, into the Kids Read Comics convention, convention slash celebration in uh, Chelsea, Michigan. It's it's uh, juried, which is pretty neat. It'll keep down on the you know absolute met, you know a huge amount of comic book artists that want to be in a convention, and the to on top of that. Uh, Art and Story and Jersey and all those guys, Mark Rudolph, are sponsoring it kind of out of pocket. And it's free for other artists to attend. So that'd be cool. And then I could actually get out there and not just have my comic published on the web through Graphically and whatnot, but actually have some face-on interaction and get some practice in, especially for other conventions. I think that'll do it. Uh, signed 2011. Uh, two. All right. And that's it. That is our finished dash sketch. And I think I went a little bit bigger than the frame did. But in any case, thanks for watching. Uh, again, it's just a Pentel brush. I'll probably, um, I've really fallen in love with it. I'll probably be really about ready to go and get myself a Winsor Newton brush just because um, sometimes the ink will dry up really quickly on this. And I have a ton of ink I can use in an ink bottle. And other than that, Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.